New details now on some ongoing work inside several Providence schools. And this after reports of mice in crumbling classrooms in multiple schools. A $20 million measure for school repairs was approved earlier this year, but now some city lawmakers say they don't know where the money's going. Eyewitness News reporter Julianne Lima is in Providence with what city leaders want done and fast. With just over a month until school is back in session, some Providence City leaders tell me they've been left in the dark on the status of projects happening inside the school buildings. Crews seen hard at work Tuesday outside Providence's Hope High School, but it's what's happening inside this building and other schools that's causing concern. There were two dead mice in the sticky traps, a cereal container that had been eaten away by mice that she was supposed to serve to students and um, mice, mice droppings across all of the tops of the cereal containers. A teacher also sent Eyewitness News these photos from inside Carnivale Elementary. Signs that read, do not enter, the ceiling is falling and the doors to the outside are broken. We have not seen a plan uh, to date. We don't know which buildings are, are being worked on. Providence City Councilman David Salvatore says he and his colleagues approved a $20 million measure for school repairs earlier this year, but they have not been told which building are currently receiving attention. Without a plan and not knowing what is happening in our schools, uh, some of us are growing increasingly frustrated that the school buildings will not be ready to, to reopen on September 3rd. Now, he says city leaders should sacrifice their summer break in order to bring some peace of mind to students, parents, and staff. I have uh, asked the city council president to suspend uh, the city council's August recess so that we can hold hearings on this, uh, the status of every school building in Providence. I think it's a great idea. I, I, if, if they could get answers, that would be wonderful. While no decision has been made yet, the council president tells me any potential meetings would be open to the public and would likely happen here at Providence City Hall. Reporting in Providence, I'm Julianne Lima, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Julianne. And we did reach out to the mayor's office to find out which city schools are undergoing reconstruction projects. Many are receiving repairs to their roofs and HVAC systems. More than a dozen schools are on the list, including Central, Hope, and Classical High Schools. You can find a full list of projects and estimated completion dates with a comprehensive map on WPRI.com and the WPRI 12 News app.